Hi, this is Larynx. I wanted to make a quick video about um, this tool that I wrote recently called Fight Recorder. Basically, it's just a way that if you play EVE Online, you can automatically record your fights a um, little bit more automated than a typical setup where you have like a replay buffer and then you need to remember to save your replay buffer after the fight or where you need to click start before the fight happens. Um, so the, the idea with this tool is kind of, it, it reads the log files of EVE and then depending on what happens in the log files, it will start the recording for you and end the recording for you. So you don't have to worry really and you just get a folder and then you get your highlights of the day. So what do you need for this to work is Fight Recorder, the tool itself, and then OBS. Fight Recorder you can get on the GitHub page, either you can build it from scratch or just like you can even run it in Python, just run MainPy uh, and it works. Or you can download a release. Uh, this tool is because I'm basically the only one using it, I can't really guarantee that it works super well. Um, I'd love to have feedback obviously. Um, no, basically you get just an XE, that's it, and you download it. Um, then once you have that, I dragged it in the downloads. You put it somewhere where it's good. I uh, don't put it in software because you're gonna need admin rights to run it there. And basically then you can run it. And usually you'll get something even worse than this um, that they do not run this um, because I built this with Pi installer and apparently people also build malware with pi installer so some antiviruses flag pi installer now but pi installer is totally fine um yeah so you'll get some kind of funny pop-up um if you don't trust it look at the code build it from source um please do and you can see then you run it and then you come to the main window it's basically just this thing like this and now basically all we need to do is fill in these numbers and then we're good. So this thing needs to connect to OBS somehow. And the way we do that is in OBS, um, we under tools, we need to start a WebSocket server. So here you click like enable WebSocket server, and then you set a server port, you enable authentication and you set a server password, then you can show your connection info and then basically you just take this info and you put it over in fight recorder and then at that point um you need to so set up where the logs are usually it's like documents eve logs game logs something like this and then you need to set an output directory and this is where your file, like your recorded videos will go. So I just have this desktop automatic folder. I said this, we need to set up some more things in on the OBS side. And um, namely we want a replay buffer to run and um, so that the fight recorder can use this replay buffer once it gets a log and um, that like something is happening so that the recording starts before something happens in the game. Um, if that makes sense to you. Basically what you need to do in OBS, you, you go in settings and then output, and then you set your recording settings and then afterwards you go to replay buffer, you enable it and you set it to some time. Um, here, this is this time basically specifies how long before the, the first log um, happens that you, your recording will start on the how long it should last after you get your first log side, you have the behavior settings. So here you have 60 seconds um, after a log happens, the basically the behavior will t time out, the video will time out and it'll stop the recording. If something happens again, then this timer is always refreshed, right? So as long as you're fighting, the, the video will keep going. Um, and then you have some settings here as well um, that might be interesting to change. So concatenate output videos will concatenate the replay buffer and the the video that is created. This is basically editing the video for you already. And, and this is kind of CPU intensive or GPU intensive. So 
depending on what kind of system you have, you might enable this or or not enable it. Um, the so basically, this will use your your will stress your system more, right? Like if you have a fight that ends, and then right away you get into the next fight, and this thing is still going, then you will use resources to edit this video and at the same time run your game client, which can be bad if you don't have enough resources to run both. So I would suggest you check how much your Eve client uses and try this once, shoot something stupid, see how bad it is and then turn it on or off. Uh, delete original videos. This is just after it combines the two videos, you can delete the originals or, or you don't. Um, if you want to have the easiest setup possible, you delete it. If you want to ensure that um, you don't lose anything data wise, like if it gets corrupted or something, then you don't have this and then you have two files and then if you can edit it later or whatever. And then run on start that was just start your computer, this thing starts. That's basically it. So the, the way it works on startup, it will always like show up like this. And then once it goes into ready state, so once everything is good, it will hide itself automatically. So now that we have all our different settings set up and, and everything is good, we want to start the replay buffer so that OBS is ready and fight recorder is ready. You might want to set OBS to auto start your with your system and automatically start the replay buff buffer. The easiest way you can do that is by putting a symlink for OBS in the startup folder. Uh, the one from fight recorder here, this one is created automatically. If you set that option, the one from OBS, you have to create manually and then you can set a flag to start the replay buffer. So it's a double minus start replay buffer and um, behind the the quotes of the, of the executable. Um, and that will automatically, when you log in, start OBS, start the replay buffer. So everything is good. So now let's try it. So I just like, unlock the ship um, and then fight recorder will say it's ready um, and I shoot my own structure always a good thing to do by the way and then fight recorder will say it is recording and now you can basically wait for a minute by the way this also minimizes the tray and then it should uh, be green whenever it's recording and be orange whenever it's not recording And now it went back to being ready. And there it is processing previous video. So now it will process it because I enabled this concatenating and then eventually you'll have your output. And this all runs in the background. You don't need to do anything. Uh, you'll just get nice recordings. Um, there is a little bit of a lag somewhere where it cuts between the buffer and the recording. Uh, it's usually not very noticeable. Um, but it can be there that you get like a, fr a few frames lost. So that concludes this setup. Um, now sh you should be able to use this tool yourself and record this way. Um, if you have any questions about it, feel free to ask me in the comments or open issues on GitHub. Um, I would also be quite glad if you could provide me the log file that it will create in next to the executable um, in case something does go wrong so I can figure out what it was. Thanks for watching and fly dangerously and make good recordings out there.